So in our last video on Apple CarPlay, we had a look at the version that came out just after the announcement that supported CarPlay. And we weren't massively impressed about what it could do initially. So a new version has came out today and I wanted to see what it can do. And there were also some comments on Twitter about Siri integration, things to try, and comments on YouTube suggesting that there's some workarounds for the things that didn't work. So I'm gonna take a look at those as well. All right, so the first thing I noticed from the updated documentation is you can call multiple people. So I'm just gonna try this. Call Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper on Teams. Calling Lady Gaga, Microsoft Teams call and Bradley Cooper, Microsoft Teams call with Teams. So that works pretty well. So group calls, you can do, no problem at all. It starts a group conference call effectively as CarPlay sees it. But what about this Siri integration? So let's take a look at how well that works. There's two things that we can ask it to do. The first one is what you'd think would be the easiest one. So let's give it a go. Join my meeting. Allow join my meeting to share data with. No, allow or don't allow. Allow. I can't do that while you're driving. You'll need to continue on your phone, but I advise against it. Open Cortana in Teams. Allow Open Cortana in Teams to share data with. Allow. I can't do that while you're driving. You'll need to continue on your phone, but I advise against it. So Siri integration, not so great. If you're using a Tesla, I hear that works fine. It's just using Bluetooth to connect. But if you've got Apple CarPlay, it's unfortunately not so good. But there is a workaround and one of the comments on YouTube pointed out that you can use this to join your meeting. Call my next meeting using Teams. Call in next meeting, Microsoft Teams call with Teams. So that joins you straight into the meeting. Now, it doesn't do a lot more. So I can't, for example, say call department meeting. I can't ask what my latest meetings are, pick one and call that. It's just limited to that one phrase, call my next meeting. So there's possibly some official support, um, but not, not, not in an advanced way. And when we press Teams, Who would you like to call? it just brings up that same who do you want to call page? Where, of course, we can say my next meeting and it will, will join it. But that's about it. So we've got the updated support notes, which are saying you can make group calls. That works great. And that undocumented feature, call my next meeting. The rest is pretty much the same. However, it means that there are improvements, you know, and there's, there's things that we missed from the last video. So it is actually pretty positive and it means that you can do the fundamental thing, which is join your meeting while you're on the move without looking away from the road, which is the key thing. So brilliant stuff.